Okay, I figured I'd show a quick tour of what it's like to use this phone, this distraction-free phone that I've created at pauseos.com. And you'll notice there looks like it's just raining right now. That's because this live wallpaper shows the current weather conditions. And something I really, really, really enjoy. Um, you may not want this. You can certainly turn this off or just change your wallpaper to whatever you want. But I prefer this. I am sort of laying down on the side, which is why it's there. So if I just put this up, you'll notice has, there's a kind of cool little effect there based on the accelerometer. Uh, if we go to the next page here, and by the way, like this clock is a shortcut to open up this app so you can set your alarms, etc. Get a little timer, stopwatch. Really nice to have stuff. Um, go to the side. I have a widget for uh, the music player. I have a widget for podcast app, and I have a widget for weather. So again, there's like the modern conveniences of widgets um, that you know, and, and a modern user interface that you would expect. So you can have a, like a sort of flip phone experience in terms of there's no distractions while having the modern convenience of a modern UI. Here we have a calculator application as a widget. So I can just go ahead and type something in there. There we go. And then we have a um, notes application where I can you know, create or type in a note and then go ahead and save there as well. So these are just optional widgets, but this is how I have mine set up. And um, like with a music player, I can go right into the music player. And, you know, we have some house music here. We have some, you know, whatever. These are all just like MP3s of, um, of music that I have uh, downloaded. We have a, quite a, a mix here. Um, but the point is that this is all mp3s so in order to get music onto this it's re really more like a podcast experience or excuse, excuse me it's more like i guess similar to an old school ipod experience because you there's no spotify there's no apple music uh that sort of thing it's just the music that you put on to this so you connect a usb uh thumb drive or you connect it to your computer you load up your mp3s and there you have them and then so you can to me this is a really nice experience to have um to have just that music because then you're gonna like i find myself listening to more full albums i'm not constantly distracted of like what's this other song and the other thing like there's a downside in my opinion to having access to all of the music at in the world every moment uh, this is more of like you buy your music you buy it on you can buy it on iTunes you can buy it on Amazon music you could buy it through uh, websites like Bandcamp uh, etc and then you can just load the bump on here and listen to your music um, I do feel like the podcasting application is a nice um, is is a really nice to have feature because if you're coming from a smartphone, it's when you lose access to like all the information of the world, you know, like that instant gratification. It's nice to have at least audio form of, so you can, you can follow podcasts for like news and whatever. Um, it's a really nice sort of stopgap I think in between getting rid of a typical smartphone and moving to a, a device like this which is very much a distraction-free device. Um, this is, I put up a website at pauseos.com, P-A-U-S-E dot, uh, sorry, P-A-U-S-E-O-S dot com. Uh, so you can wish list this if you like. Um, I'll be selling it soon there. We have, um, you know, your calendar, your, 
camera. There's two camera apps. One is a super low resolution camera app I created that takes just very low res cameras, uh, pictures. I thought that was kind of like a fun, like retro thing. Uh, we have things like this. This is a uh, chat GPT style app. Right now this is using something called Grok, which is an alternative to chat GPT, but you could literally put in, uh, you could add whatever your favorite chat service is to this. And we could just say like, um, uh, tell me a joke. A man walked into a library and asked the librarian, do you have any books on Pavlov's dogs? And, okay. <laughs> yeah, that's, anyway, very smart joke there. Um, here we go. I don't want to mispronounce that. So uh, we have a couple of apps you'll see here, like Metro Music and Music Player. Right now I'm testing different music player applications. Uh, because it's nice to have, like, when you're using a music player, um, you know, obviously you can play your song here. But if I go back, here is, right now I'm looking at this. So here we have, I can look by genres. This is, a, I believe, a Fossify uh, music player. We can create our own custom playlists. You can search by artists, you can search by albums, you can search by songs, and um, so, uh, yeah, you know, this, like, to me, this is really, like, just, like, the old school pod, iPod experience. This is what I want. There's nothing, the only music that's on here is the music that I put on here, okay? You, you plug a USB stick into this phone and transfer over your your albums and your, your music or transfer it over via your computer and uh, you know you can still buy albums and music on iTunes you can still buy it on Amazon Music uh, you can still buy it through services like Bandcamp etc or if you have a computer that you've backed up your your music to in the past you can just transfer it over to this and then you can you know, have your music and play your music. So I thought that was really great. And I, I'm loving that experience. And also, the, this I found that this audio FX app, I don't use it when playing music on the phone itself because the audio is incredible on this device. But if I connect this via Bluetooth to like my home theater system, then I can turn on this FX and I can actually you know choose a different style of music or I can even create some custom um, sort of EQs which I found really works like super well so I've actually le leveraged that actually is useful um, we do have an application for downloading apps so I've created, I've curated a list of maybe about 20 or so distraction-free applications from third parties. Some of them, many of them are open source, some are not, like this Zoom application. So if you need to have meetings, you can just download Zoom. Um, and this will be just updated. And this will go through a big UI change because I want to add more information about what the applications are and who the creators are and link to their um you know, to their email or website, like a lot of them like offer the option to donate to them. You won't be able to open website links, but you'll be able to at least see them here and then go to a computer and like, you know, uh, get more information that way. But for now, it is very much a functional app. If we like, for example, download Zoom, we can see it downloading. And now this is still like, early so I would say like my suggestion would be just click one link at a time like allow it to download um, you know if you get if it gets stuck somehow just close and reopen it but I'll make it more stable in the future but as of now if we just do it this way and we go ahead and wait and we go ahead and install and 
against all. And there we go. And now we have Zoom on the phone. Okay. So Zoom unfortunately doesn't have this um the one of these like themed icons, which is a little bit annoying. But um anyway, I don't need it there right now. But whatever, I'll just keep here for a moment. Um there's the this like books app where it has all of this classical literature that you can read for free. So we can click on Alice in Wonderland here, click on download, and then boom, let's start reading contents. Let's go to chapter one. And then there we have Alice in Wonderland. Okay. I thought that's a nice like a uh, little third party app. It's based on the, the Gutenberg library, I guess it's called. And books that are, I guess, in the public domain, I think is how that is worded. Uh, Notes app, we have a Maps application, and which works great. It's uh, based on open street maps, that's what it's called, I believe. Basically, it's not Google Maps, or it's not Apple Maps, but it's like an open source maps application. It does have GPS. It does have uh, navigation, which is really nice to have because that's one of those apps like you just... It's useful, you know, you know traveling around and, and um, it's used to, useful to have that. And then there's even a companion app here called, um, so this, it's called, this is called um, Street Complete. So basically what it does is allows you to, uh, if, you, if you're using organic maps and like some of the information you find is like out of date or incorrect or something, you can actually use that to to or missing you can um actually add and like contribute to make the maps better which i thought was really cool um there's a spam blocker for calls uh i created a i'm using uh, well there's a voice recorder uh that weather application which is amazing account sync right now um i'm just signed into my um test account so that in the future, you'll create when you get one of these phones, you'll create an account on pausewest.com, and then this will automatically sync, um, like sort of backup contacts and things like that for convenience sake. Um, right now, you just uh, import and export your contacts in your calendar via files right now. So, um, let's see. There's also a music study music app I created. So if you click on any of these, it'll start playing a uh, relaxing like study music video. So just some ambiance, cozy fireplace, winter vibes, etc. Or I can click, uh, click relaxing scene. And we have this relaxing scene, which is like a... This is really like a example certainly you can use this but um this is like the start of one of those things that i find to be really interesting so the idea is that you'll be able to have these just like little relaxing scenes that you can kind of set up and put in the background and you can pair them with some music as well um, i'm working on a very limited version of a youtube application and I don't know if I really want to show it off right now because it's it's just a te that link will not be here. I'm just using it for testing. So, but essentially, if someone sends you a YouTube link, you will be able to add that and, and view that, so you're not totally in the dark, but you won't have access to like full fledged uh, YouTube. And that's pretty much it. I mean, you know, this to me is like. I used to carry a, a super dumb phone and um, also a Palm Pilot in conjunction with it so I could have more of the functionality I needed from the Palm Pilot. 
you know, that the dumb phone didn't have, where to me this is like the best of both worlds without any of the distraction. And also the, like, I, I don't know if I mentioned yet, but I added back the, the files um, browser because I found a way to restrict side loading of applications at a system level so that we can, um, basically if you see a, APK file, or if, you, or if you were to put APK files and try to open them in the Files app, they won't open. They're only going to open through the More Apps um, application, which is created and curated. And that's it. I mean, you're basically, you know, you're not going to be scrolling on this phone. Uh, there's no infinite scroll on here. Like, none at all, which is what I think makes it wonderful. So you can just get back to your real life and... Uh, enjoy without all the distractions so this is a good example of what it's like to have this distraction free phone that I've created and put on palm and I <laughs> palm put on pauseos.com so if you're interested in this please check that out go to pauseos.com and uh, wish list this phone it's basically um I'm very, very, very close to putting this on sale, and I'm basically just going to be selling it for the retail price of the hardware of the phone to start. I won't be marking this up um, in the beginning. And part of the reason is, uh, well, I just I want to get this out there. I want to get the feedback. I want to pe people using it. I'm using it full time now. You can see what it's like. It's just a... Uh, modern phone, but just a, a note on the hardware, I'm basing this off the Pixel 8, which I, wa I wanted because it's just beautiful new hardware, and it's the hardware itself is going to be supported uh, long into the future, and um, it's more of like a high-end device in my opinion, and I want to be focused more on like newer uh, higher-end devices. I say higher end, but they're sort of like mid tier in terms of pricing. You know, they're not the the thousand dollar, fifteen hundred dollar iPhones, but it's more like with this phone right now is retailing for six ninety nine. So it's kind of that middle ground spot, and uh, yeah. So I'm gonna go ahead and you know you have your typical drop down here, so you can see. I mean, this is like everything you expect from like a, a modern UI. Turn your flashlight on and off, your Bluetooth, airplane mode, everything's simple and easy to use. Right now I'm just using the screen recorder app to record this. We can put our notifications to the side and we can go ahead and stop our screen recording. So thank you for watching.